Hey there and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Blaze the Cat from Sonic the Hedgehog. So let's get started with the eyes. I'm going to draw a curve for the upper eyelid, but on the outside I'm just going to draw a little curve that comes up. So starting on the left side we're going to curve down and then round out the inside edge. We're going to do the same curve on the right side, but we're just going to flip this over. Starting on the inside this time, we're going to leave a little gap in the center. We're going to curve up and then flick it up at the end. From here, let's draw in the bottoms of the eyes. So we're going to step in on the left side here. And just draw a curve coming up. Do the same thing on the right side. Just tuck that in underneath the eyelid. From here on the corners, we're going to just draw a little eyelash sticking out. So from this corner, we're just going to flick out another little curve like that. Let's go ahead and draw in the iris and pupil. So we're going to tuck in a little oval on the top edge of the eyelid. So starting on the outside, curve down and then tuck that in, leaving a little gap at the bottom here. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Let's go ahead and draw in a highlight. So imagine the light coming down from the left. We're going to draw a little curve from the outside of the eye and tuck that in underneath. We'll do the same thing on the right side. And we'll tuck in the pupil underneath here. So a small little oval tucked in underneath that uh, highlight. So we'll curve around and color that in black. So almost like a half oval and color that in black. From here, let's draw the bridge of the muzzle. So in between the points of the eyes, I'm just going to curve up and across. In the center here, we're going to draw in a nose. So drawing a sideways oval. And then we're going to draw a little highlight. So again, on the side on the left, we're just going to curve up and color the right side in black. From here, let's draw in the bottom edge of the chin. So underneath the left eye, we're going to curve to the bottom of the chin, right about here, and then back up on the right side. Starting on the left, curve around. We'll tuck that in on the right side. We'll give it a little mouth. So on the corner here, we're just going to draw a little curve like that. From the bottom edge of the chin, we're going to curve up towards the fur cheeks. So on the left side here, we're just going to curve up towards the left, just about eye height. On the right side, we'll do the same thing, so curving up. From here, we're going to draw a little jagged edge here. So on the left, we'll just curve in with a short line. On the right, we'll do the same thing. And we're going to go out a little bit longer on both sides like that, and then we'll curve up towards the ear along the side of the head. So from this point on the left, we're going to curve in towards the eyelash and just up. We'll just turn these little corners up like that. From this point, let's draw in the ears. So we got, she's got two ears that stick up this way. So from this point here, I'm going to curve out, bow this line out to the top of the ear. We'll do the same thing on the right side to make sure that we get the same height on both sides. From here, I'm going to curve in towards the center, towards the top of the head. So from the left side, I'm going to curve in to right about there. And on the right, we'll do the same thing, about the same height. We'll connect those two points with a curve for the top of the head. Like that. Let's draw in some inner ear detail. So from this point of the ear to that point, we're going to draw a curve, but we're going to leave a little gap on either side. Just curving like that. From here, we're just going to trace the inside edge of that ear. So on the left side, up to the top, and curve this back down. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So again, so connecting this point to that point of the ear, but leaving a gap on the sides. Going across, and up to the tip of the ear. Let's go ahead and draw in the little gemstone in the center of the forehead. So up here, I'm just going to draw a circle, and we'll draw a tinier circle on the top left for a highlight. Let's go ahead and draw in the hairband. So from this point of the ear to that point, we're just going to draw a curve that goes all the way across like this. From here, we're going to layer in the hair spikes. So we're going to draw the first one in the middle, and then we're going to tilt it over to the side a little bit. So starting on the left of center, and curve up to the top. We're going to pull that back down so it gets a little bit wider and comes back in. We're going to layer ones in behind it. So stepping over on the left side, we'll curve up. We're not going to make this as long. Pull that back in. We'll draw one more on this side here. So right about here, we'll curve out and then tuck that in behind the hairband. We'll draw a little one in the back here. So starting down here, curve across and we'll tuck that in underneath the hairband. At the tips, we've got a little separation line. So up here, we're going to draw a curve across all the tips. Across like that. Okay, so we've got the head. Let's get into the body. So we're going to start with the collar first. So underneath the chin, from left to right, we're going to draw a curve like this. Inside this curve, 
just gonna draw two little vertical lines. Now from here, I'm gonna draw her standing straight. Her left arm is gonna be on her hip. The right arm is gonna be out holding a flame. So what we wanna do is start with the sides of the chest first. So just down here, we're gonna draw a curve on the left and on the right. So it's almost the same width as the eyes. From here, we're gonna curve around the hips. So curving inwards and then out. From here, let's draw in the, the uh, sides of the coat. So again, we're gonna draw the feet probably down to about here. The coat will come down to here. So on the left side, we're gonna curve out and down. Out and down, right about there. We can always adjust the height of that later. So from here, let's go back up and draw the arm on the left side. So again, I'm gonna have the arm coming out towards the elbow and in towards the hip. Starting at the collar line here, we're gonna curve out. I'm gonna curve this back in. So this is the elbow curving back in the forearm to right about here. Inside here, she's got these furry cuffs. So we're gonna start right along the side here and just draw a series of curved, jagged points that go all the way across like this. So they're all turning across this way. In here, we're gonna draw the wrist line. It's like a half circle right there. Let's draw the top of the forearm. So up here, just gonna draw a straight line coming back, leaving a gap here. And we step down a little bit and just pull a straight line in behind the chest. Let's go to this side and draw on this arm. So again, we're gonna have her holding a flame. So we're gonna to have to draw on the fingers before we draw in the arm. So locating the hand right about here, we start with one of the fingers first. So we're just gonna curl around like that. Okay, so starting on the inside of the finger, curving around and then back out. We're gonna do this again. So we're gonna layer in the fingers. So drawing a curve that tucks in underneath. And we'll draw one more. So on the side of this finger, we'll curve up, down, and then tuck that in. From the side of this finger, we're gonna start the flame. Stepping up from that tip, curve out, in, and then out. We're gonna pull this in with a short curve. Now we're gonna to go to the top of the flame. So curving out and back around. We'll pull this back in to right about there. From the side, we're gonna finish off with the side on the right. So curving out, almost like a little S. We'll curve this back in, out, and then tuck that in behind that finger. Now we can go ahead and finish off this hand. So from here, I'm just gonna curve and tuck this in behind the flame. Let's give her the furry cuff on this side. Starting up here, I'm just gonna draw a series of jagged edges that go across like this. Now as we get towards the right side, I'm gonna change direction, going in the opposite direction. So one, we started this way, now we're curving this way. Let's go ahead and finish off the arm. So at the shoulder line, so up by this collar, I'm gonna curve around the shoulder, and then we're gonna curve in the opposite direction and tuck this in underneath the flame and the cuff. And we're gonna do the inside part of the arm right there. Let's go ahead and finish off the coattail. So from here, we're gonna curve up towards the waistline, which is right about here. So from this point, I'm gonna curve up. We're gonna move across, same height, and curve down to the tip on the right. We'll connect those two points with a straight line. Now we're just gonna draw a little trim. So we're gonna copy this curve on the inside edge to the top, going across, and curving down on the right side. In the center here, I'm just gonna draw a little seam. So in the center, below her neck, we're gonna go straight down. Let's go into the legs. So down here, we're gonna draw the lower torso line first. So right down here, draw a short little straight line. Now with her, because she's sort of got some attitude, I'm gonna sort of curve the legs out this way. Starting on the inside, in the center here, I'm gonna curve down and towards the right. So you can see it's starting to lean this way. We're gonna leave a little gap and a curve down towards the right side as well. So if you see her legs are starting to curve this way. On the hips, right here on the side of the leg, I'm gonna curve down. And on the right, we'll curve down to the same height. From here, we're gonna layer in the furry cuffs of the boot. So in the center, in between these two lines, I'm gonna curve out, back in. We're gonna do that same jagged point that we have on the cuffs of the sleeve. We're gonna go in the opposite direction on the right side and just connect that at the bottom. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So starting in the middle, curve out. We're gonna probably tuck this in underneath the left side here and just kind of curve around like that. And then on the right, we'll go in the opposite direction. Like so let's go ahead and draw in the boots. So right here, you see this line for the inside edge of the leg? We're gonna follow this down underneath this fur 
and pull and curve down the back of the heel. Go across with a straight line, go up with a short straight line. Now we're going to draw the front of the boot. So from here, we're going to go all the way towards the toe with the curve. It's right about there. From here, let's draw in the curves of the top of the foot. So from here, I just want to curve across like that. Do a slight overlap, come in and draw another curve. Another slight overlap, we're going to curve and tuck that in underneath that boot cuff. We're going to draw the sole of the shoe. So up here, we're just going to trace the bottom, go up, and as we get towards the heel, we're going to curve it back out. From these points here, these little curves, we're just going to continue that and then tuck that in on the line of the, of the sole. From here, we're going to draw in a curve at the top and at the bottom, just for a little seam detail. Let's draw the same foot on the right side. So starting with the heel first, so you can see the inside edge of the leg, it's going to come down to the heel right here. We're making the same length. Go across with a short line, then going up. We're going to draw that curve for the bottom of the foot. So we want to try to make sure that it's the same length as we have on the left side. So this side and this side should be the same length. Curving up and in. Do a slight overlap. Curving up and in. Another overlap underneath that fur. Now we're going to draw the sole of the boot. So from here, on the heel, we'll curve around and just continue towards the toe. This curve, we're just going to continue and just tuck that in underneath that line. We'll draw the seam at the top of the boot. Now we want to show that this uh, coat tail sort of goes behind the leg. So from here, we're just going to curve in. In behind the legs like that. The final thing, we're going to give her a little tail here. So right here, we're going to curve up, and we'll flick it out towards the left. We're going to pull that back in with a short curve. Now we're going to go out again. Another curve. Come back. Now we're going to change direction. We're going to go over towards the right. So going out, back in. We'll do one tiny one here. We're going to pull this back and just follow the tail all the way behind the body. Along here, we're just going to draw just a jagged edge for the trim. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Blaze of the Cat from Sonic the Hedgehog. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.